The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Bang! Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. The seven star Embor Terror Raids are here, and as my Spanish speaking friends would say, they are muy divertido. It's a very difficult terror raid. It uses some mechanics such as attacks with recoil and then drain punch to restore its HP. It also has times 40 HP. You can see all the terror raid details right here. But as always, the Danimals find a way to take down the terror raids. A special shout out to the Danimal High Council member, Julie B, for sharing their build with me and inspiring this Swampert build. But without further ado, let's take a look at how you can indeed easily solo seven star Swampert. Embor, not Swampert. Here's a high level overview of the Swampert build featured in this video. And up top, you'll see two builds featured in my Embor preview that you can use to defeat Embor in group terror raids. But now let's take a closer look at Swampert. Here's the star of today's video, Swampert the Unrivaled, for taking down its fellow unrivaled Embor. It's got a ground Terra type, but the creator of this build, Julie B, says you could also use the Stellar Terra type. Then for our held item, we have the Shell Bell for some recovery. As for our EVs, we're going Attack EVs, Defense EVs, and the final four in HP. Give your Swampert an Adamant Nature that will raise our attack while lowering our special attack. This is a physical attacking build. Yes, we're using Chilling Water, which is a special attacking move, but who cares? We're not trying to use damage. The ability for Swampert doesn't matter. If it's Damp, fine. If it is Torrent, fine. Even better, I guess maybe you'll get to do slightly more Chilling Water damage. For our moves, we have Earthquake. That's our main attacking move. It does a lot of damage, and it doesn't hit our allies in Terror Raids. We are Big Chilling. How Big Chilling? Chilling Water! Do you see what I did there? Chilling Water, we're going to use that to charge our Terra Orb and give us some early game survivability. Bulk Up is going to give us the long term bulk, pun intended, <laughs> raising our defense. And then it's going to power up our, our attack for Earthquake. Screech, we're going to use it one time. As you'll see later, I will think about using it three times, but I'm going to use it one time to soften up Embor to make sure that we can still do big damage when it uses Bulk Up. Also, it has max IVs in all of its stats. Now let's send this build to the front lines. Good luck, soldier. So right off the rip, we can go with, I guess, three chilling waters. Uh, it's not gonna help us in the long term. It's gonna charge our Terra Orb and help us survive. There is a set strategy that we can follow here to get some consistent and easily <laughs> easy solos. And we, most of us have a Swampert laying around if you did the last Terra Raid event. Otherwise, yeah, join the Discord if you need help getting a Swampert. But we're gonna chilling water our way through. Then we're gonna bulk up. Let's talk allies real quick. Gardevoir is probably the best ally because it will give you life dues while you are powering up. Otherwise, your Intimidators are all going to be great here because Embor is only a physical attacking Terra Raid Pokemon. Uh, Drifflim, who I'm in the raid with, with Will-O-Wisp, that is going to be very good because it is going to burn. That's going to also help our survivability. Arcanine is also among the best because it will use Leer, just like Weavile did and it'll also have Intimidate, but Weavile is also good with Leer. So there's a lot of allies that help us. So we've got our three Chilling Water, and we're waiting to see when our abilities and stats get nullified. So at, at that point, it's only gonna nullify our stats that one time. So now we're free to power up as we please. So now it's time for our decisions. What we need to do is we need to use, there's the nullify. So then what we're gonna need to do is Use bulk ups until we're at plus six attack and defense. So once you get near 100 HP, you're going to want to terrestrialize and attack that way to just heal up some damage. That's the crit hit. We are in danger of the crit hit. We are, don't make no mistake, the crit hit will hurt. That's why we don't want to take it too, too low. So you'll see, I'm going to bulk up. We're going to get it down low and then we'll mix in. It's gonna remove its negative effects from itself, so we're gonna start taking a lot more damage, so keep in mind, we're probably gonna get hit a lot harder now, and those leers from Weavile won't help anymore. I'm very happy to see Drain Punch in a seven star Terror Raid. That is a really neat inclusion. I gotta say, this is a very excellent Terror Raid. The recoil moves mixed in with Drain Punch. If anyone from Game Freak is listening, you did a great job. You made a fun raid. Thank you. So we're gonna keep powering up maybe one more time. Let's see how much damage we take. We wanna make sure that, yeah, I will take one more. We'll take one more. 
We want to be play safe rather than sorry. While... Oh, yeah, let's do that. While I'm bulking up, I want to know what Pokemon you are using so far to take down 7-star Envor. I tried in the Night 1 stream. I tried Mudsdale. I was feeling good about it. I was thinking maybe Gudra. I saw in that chat there's some Flygon. Also, Landorus. I saw some love for Grudon, my boy. Okay. So now at this point, we see we're at 107 HP. So Terrastalize and Swing. We're going to do solid damage, but the thing is, we just need to get that HP back. We want to stay out of critical hit range. Then at this point, we can go back to bulking up till we are at plus six. And once we're at plus six, we just swing until we break the shield. So to recap so far, it's been three chilling waters, four bulk ups, mix in the earthquake. But again, it depends on what teammates you have. And if you want the full turn by turn directions, check the description of this video. And while you're down there, make sure to press the subscribe button for more Dan-tastic Pokemon content. I don't just do terror raids, I love them, but I've been getting really into shiny hunting lately, especially legendary Pokemon. I'm currently shiny hunting Rayquaza. But they could, look, look, we're at 237. We're gonna go back to the old bulk up grind, get up to plus six. Then should be fairly smooth sailing. I thought for sure Embor was going to have either Trailblaze or Scald to give it some coverage. I'm slightly disappointed. because I hope there's another Electric Terra Terra Raid because it's a great defensive type because it only has that one weakness. And if there was a Grass or Water starter that had it, it would have that built-in coverage for ground type moves. I hope we see it again. There's only one type we haven't seen that's dark. So let's take a look. We have plus six attack, plus six defense. Great. Great, great, great. You can look here. Nothing doing over here. That's no problem. So at this point, we can earthquake until we break that shield. Once we break the shields, I like to do one screech. I like to do one screech. That it gets us to the end of the raid faster. There's maybe a couple different ways you could do it if you wanted to. You could maybe you could maybe triple screech it and try to one shot it from shield break to try to avoid the bulk ups. You could try it. You could try it. Let's see. But I, I like the I like the one screech and then three earthquakes because Embor does it clears its stats twice, so it's gonna clear its debuffs again. So but we're fine. We're just gonna screech it one time. There's the shield. Beautiful. So now we can screech it. And there's the, it clears its own debuff. So now we're safe to screech it. So here's the options. You could go three screeches and try for the one shot. I do, actually haven't tried that. I should have done that before I recorded this. That would be fun. But I'm gonna go one screech. I'm gonna go one screech. You let me know in the comments if three screeches gets it done. <laughs> now I'm so curious. Like, do the three screeches work? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. We, it bulks up there anyway, so we can't stop. We can't slow down the bulk up. We can't slow down the bulk up. So the three screech dream might just be that, just a dream. Unrelated, completely unrelated. I'm looking for beach volleyball tips. Please help me. Prior to this stream, I heard had my first beach volleyball match ever, and I was not good. But bang, that's some good damage. I think one more. Okay, I think one more. I guess maybe we, only two screeches it needed. So there, the second bulk up's gonna come. I guess, yeah. Was, oh, we're, we were burned. We were burned. So that, we're gonna do less damage. So it might take two. Might take two. Might. <laughs> like the game, it might take two. Wild charge, we do not care. We do not care. We're the ground types. Let us use a move. We've been just big chilling here. All right, cool. Will it, will it our easily solo be complete? Will the sun never set on the Danimal Kingdom? No! Oh, that's so much. Oh, the disappointing. That would have been nice. That would have been. Oh, no. Boom. No. It's all right. We'll get the cold open here. We'll get the cold open here. And then you'll be like, whoa! I know. It's like fourth wall breaking. You're watching this. We're having fun. Video games are supposed to be fun. We don't have to take it serious. Who cares? Yes. We need seven star card on a Miradon. Okay. Let's uh, let her rip. A new camera angle. Oh, wait, no, we're back. We're back. Okay. I like that. 
Now, now we're ready for the cold open. Ready? Oh, la 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 la. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Bang! Embor has been easily soloed. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. You're watching your map, you're like, oh, I recognize that. All right, let's let the animation go through. Let's pick our Pokeball. Let's pick our Pokeball. Whenever you're ready, no rush, no rush game. Another shout out to Julie B for the build. What Pokeball? <laughs> What Pokeball are you catching 7-star Embor in in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I'm going with the Sports Ball. Gotta be one of those Red Balls, maybe a little Fast Ball. I wish the 7-star Terra Raids would be shiny because Embor kind of stinks, but the shiny is fire. So let me know in the comments what Pokemon you are using to catch 7-star Embor. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Earthquake on that subscribe button for more Nance Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Ambor season!